in practice to do that as it seems like it would be in, in mentality? As, well, as a, you know, luckily, luckily I got the, the green jersey on a practice, so uh, I don't ever have to feel them. Uh, but absolutely, you know, to, to go against our defensive line and, and, and sweat coming off the edge in particular, I mean, it gets you ready for, for anyone's deal. You know, you have to be ready to step up and, and move in the pocket, you know, very quickly. Uh, because, you know, as we all know, they're a very disruptive group. Uh, a lot of QB pressures, a lot of QB hurries, a lot of sacks. Uh, so going against them in practice, you know, obviously it helps me with, with, you know, getting the ball out fast and, you know, moving in the pocket. But I think it just it generally just benefits our offensive line so much, you know, going against such high caliber guys, you know, every rep. We talked to you back at media days, and we talked about how much you were going to run this year. And, and you gave the impression, you know, I'm going to run a little bit less. And then you had 28 carries last night. Is that something that you're just like, look, I got to do what I have to do to win? Yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, if they, they say, Nick, you're going to carry the ball 45 times, and we're going to win the game, then by all means, you know, give it to me, and, and I'll go run. Uh, they say, you're going to run the ball zero times, we're going to win the game. So by all means, let's, let's do it. Uh, so it doesn't really matter to me. You know what I have to do. What, what the, whatever the team needs is, is what I'm going to do to win the game. You know, the, at the end of the day, you know, a, a one more W in, in the win column is all that really matters to me. Do you feel like the open date kind of falls at a good time? You know, midway through the season for you guys. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, you get the you get through the first half. You know, have a little breather, collect yourself, collect your thoughts. Uh, you know, and get ready for a, a brutal second half of the season. So, uh, uh, you know, playing the West. So it's always like that. But to have it midway through the season, kind of get the first six, you know, done, learn from them, uh, you know, and then kind of rest, recharge, and get ready for the second half. How hmm. different this week been for you guys after a couple of tough weeks to have that win that you guys got Saturday? Has it been kind of a different air around the place? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's, it's always going to be different after a win than a loss. But you know, one of the one of the good things about this team is we really handled, you know, like the coach I would say, handled adversity and prosperity. Uh, you know, we've handled adversity very well. Uh, I feel like you know, we haven't we haven't started splitting up as a team. We haven't started blaming people. Uh, you know, we've come together, you know, stronger. And, and you know, both those weeks were, were tough, but uh, come out together, big home win, and uh, you know, a big SEC West win. So, I'm uh, very proud of this team for not, you know, folding up shop and really kind of banding together and going playing harder. Watching the motion plays, not the running backs of the night. It looked like the timing had to be really tight there because Kyle would be right on you. Elk has got to get the ball to you. It's just almost a very narrow window to get it through there cleanly, and you'll never had a bobble. A lot of practice. A lot of practice. You know, uh, those kind of motions we've been working on since spring practice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously I haven't done a lot of them in, in games, but it was something we've repped a lot mm -hmm. and that we were comfortable with. And, and definitely throughout the week, you know, mold like. Tons and tons of reps throughout the week, just making sure that we got that right. And that's really on, it's really on the quarterbacks making sure that we get the ball snapped in time mm -hmm. to make that happen. So uh, it, it worked out well. We had a, had a lot of clean, clean handoffs. Could you tell the difference that this game, you know, we're getting plays off three, four, five seconds faster than the previous game? Uh, I mean, you know, we, we kind of went out there with a simplistic plan mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, Running the ball was was working very well, so it wasn't too hard to uh, to really think what to do next. You know, you, you get six yards on first down, and I'll, I'll go run the ball again. So uh, it wasn't. I don't think it was too difficult. You know, trying to pick through which run plays to call. You know, before the season started, I think talking to you and talking to Joe a little bit, there seemed like a little more of a vision of you being a little more of a drop back passer this year, and it hasn't necessarily happened that way. Is that disappointing? Do you care? I mean, it doesn't matter as long as. There's wins. I mean, what, what's kind of your feelings about the way the offense has developed? Uh, you know, you, an offense, you know, plays to its strength. Um, you know, obviously, a lot, a, lot, a lot of us thought there was going to be a lot more, you know, drop back and, and throw the ball. And it hasn't been like that, uh, you know, multiple different reasons. But, you know, running the ball works for us, and we're still going to pass the ball, so it's, it's not really a big deal. Uh, you know, to me, like I said before, I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me what, what my stats are. It doesn't really matter to me. You know, Anything like that after the game, personally, I just want a W. So whatever we got to do to get the W, I'm happy with. Was that after the game on Sunday? Was that about as sore as you'd ever been? That was the most carries you'd ever had. What, what was that like? Just uh, kind of recovering from that game. Uh, you know, still still recovering a little bit. You know, still trying to still trying to work the soreness out. But uh, absolutely, um, I think I think honestly after the the after the Kansas State game was probably the sorest I've ever been though. Uh, you know, just going such a long time without 
without any contact, and then you know suddenly go in there and get 20, 20 something runs in, in that game. Uh, woke up the next day, you know, couldn't really move, and, and so my body's just kind of gotten a little bit more used to it throughout the season, but definitely sore. Is that difficult? You know, you do a few plays in a row, like say against Auburn, you get you know, hit three times from all kind of different ways, and then you got to drop back and pass. I mean, do you feel the hits kind of in real time like that? You know what I mean? Does it affect your throwing at all, or, or I mean, do you not really care in the heat of battle? I mean, there, there are some. I mean, obviously, adrenaline pumping, that kind of thing, you don't feel a, a lot of it until, you know, after a game or anything like that when you calm down. Uh, there are always a few hits throughout the game that, you know, you really feel. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you got to fight through it and can't really let it affect the rest of your game. I know you've had several running backs over these two or three years. You know, it looks like you and Kylan are developing that chemistry on the, the read and everything. What makes him unique? What makes him, him good at, at running what you guys do? Uh, I mean, you know, he, he shows it. You know, he's, he's extremely fast, uh, very quick side to side lateral guy. He reads the, he reads the field well, makes good cuts, uh, jump over people, you know, spin move off people, make people miss, run through tackles. So uh, he's a very talented back. When it comes down to it, it's just making the right read with, with whoever we're reading, give him the ball, or, or pull it and go. Uh, Joe was talking about a little bit uh, how annoying it is sometimes for the offense to have to go against Montez and Jeffrey because they can wreck a practice sometimes because they're so good. What's it, from your perspective, how difficult is it to go against them and how much does that prepare you for what you see in the SEC? Well, uh, when, you know, once you get into, once you get into the, the season, like the, there's really not – much, you know, one versus ones going out there and, and scrimmage against each other. So uh, during fall camp, during spring practice, we're going against them a lot every rep. But once you get in the season, it's a lot more scout team. Uh, it's a lot more teach to teach reps than it is full speed, you know, tackle reps. Uh, but I mean, you can ask the scout team offensive guys. I'm sure they're uh, they're not having fun doing it. But in the in the spring and in the preseason, yeah, spring, everything, what's I mean, it like going against very, Montez? Very disruptive. You know? Extremely quick guy off the edge. He has great moves, great hands. Uh, get blockers off of him, and he'll just beat you around the edge. Uh, so, really teaches you as a quarterback to get the ball out quick, uh, or you know, move in the pocket, scramble out, get away from him. But you try to run away from him. You're not. Uh, most people aren't getting away from him either. So, uh, extremely talented player. You know, plays extremely hard, and uh, glad he's on our team. Yes, Nick.